Thank you. Uh, fellow Democrats and Republicans, uh, I accept your nomination. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before I speak for two or three minutes, let me remind you, Mr. President and Mr. Vice President, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Majority Leader Designate, Mr. Vice President Designate, and let me remind those in this room that these fellows have had people working for a week on their material, and I just started thinking of mine in the last two or three minutes. <laughs> President Carter, as I said to Rosalind, when you commented that I had helped you achieve one half of your goal, and uh, I also said to her that you, when I suggested in that note, and it is true, I sent that note, that he wash his face and wear a clean shirt, uh, he took half of my advice tonight. And, uh, and, <laughs> and uh, he never took it all. And, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I must say to you that I think we each have strengths and weaknesses, and one of my strengths has been my ability to recognize my weaknesses. And one of the things, one of the things I've always been able to do is take what I was doing seriously, but not myself too seriously. But tonight, I, all, I think I'm beginning to lose that capacity. Uh, I began to get disturbed about myself when just before I came up here, my mind was wandering a bit, and uh, even though the president was speaking, and I leaned over and said to Helen, you know, Helen, I think that what Brezhnev said to Senator Percy that hasn't yet been reported was, be sure and give my regards to Bob Strauss. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, that's pretty good for just the last two or three minutes. Uh, <laughs> it's getting late, and let me conclude more seriously, if I can, for a moment by saying uh, to you first, Mrs. Johnson, how proud that Helen and I are, and the members of our family are, that our names will be associated with the school. I think the former president would be very pleased at that, and we are very proud of that association. Let me also say that, in all seriousness, that I was thinking tonight as I sat there what, re what a truly magnificent nation this is. You think of Afghanistan, and you think of Poland, and one can't avoid thinking of the Middle East. And we even think of what happens in a stable society like Great Britain, where the government changes with dramatic shifts. And here we are with a change of government, with a transition. And here we are in this room that's truly a montage of America. Corporate leaders, politicians, young and old, some jaded and some just beginning. But all of us, all of us, absolutely convinced that this process can work. 
and all of us tonight in this joyous, happy, positive room knowing that we are participating right at the, in the halfway part, halfway point of a change of government and things go on with stability and with soundness. And my friend Abe Ribicoff just returned a couple of days ago from Europe and he said the one thing I thought of as Casey and I flew home, Bob, was all I heard about just before I left this nation was what was wrong with America. But all I heard about in Europe where they saw us from afar was how they could become a part of this great nation, how they could bring their companies here, how they could bring their families here, how they could bring their security here, all wanting to be a part of this great nation. And so it is tonight that I would conclude by briefly saying to you that this process uh, serves us well. This evening, I think, is a moment of reminder, a pause at midpoint in a transition to say that it works. God bless it and preserve it in each of you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the evening. Now, where are the...